Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Downtime with DeMille. I hope you all are having a great 4th of July weekend. Man, I'm on my way to Atlanta to check out the new Illuminarium Wild Experience. Look, this is something that's brand new. It just opened yesterday and I have not been there before. First time going, I'm real excited about it. And everything that I've seen about this is, is amazing. So I'm gonna go and give a hands-on review of what it's like to experience it. I'm also gonna leave a link at the end of this video to the Luminarium's website. So in case any of you guys are in Atlanta or if you live in either Las Vegas or Miami, which they're gonna actually have the Illuminarium opening up in those cities at either the end of this year or the beginning of next year sometime, you'll be able to go and check it out and you'll be able to check out what I'm about to look at. But look, if this is your first time visiting the channel and if you like the content that I produce, don't forget to leave a Hulk smash on that like. Also, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, you'll be notified every time a new video goes live on this channel. So, a little bit about this experience. So, you're basically in this really, really large room from what I understand and there are these high definition laser projectors that are projecting video footage of the jungle, lions, zebras, all of this stuff. And it's like, it's immersive and it's all around you. This is basically what I've heard. And also from what I've heard, there's different things like the floor shaking when an elephant goes by and there's a scent or something like that that you smell that lets you know you're in the jungle. So I'm looking forward to this. This should be really fun. It should be really amazing. I hope that they allow me to record while I'm in there. I'm anticipating they probably won't, but if they do, I'll try to get some footage. But either way, on the road to Atlanta, stay tuned, let's do this. Fortunately, they were able to allow me to actually record while the wild experience was going on at Illuminarium and I was really surprised by that. So when you get to the Illuminarium after you've gotten your tickets, they're giving you a brief tour, not really a tour, but an introduction of what you know it's going to be like on the inside and they're telling you you can actually use your phones so if you want to record that's fine the only thing you can't do they don't want you to do any flash photography and then you're brought into the illuminarium itself which is a huge very open space uh, room that you're in where you see all of these projected images of wildlife in Africa from what I understand, this is actual footage that was shot on location in Africa and it's just being projected on the screen so there's no actual animals there. Now that being said, you get the full experience. When elephants are walking by, you feel the rumble on the floor. You actually feel shaking under your, under your feet. Speaking of that, you also can leave footprints when you're walking. It's, I don't know how they do that, but some kind of way they track your footprints when you're walking through, and it is really, really impressive. The visuals are amazing. I don't know what kind of projector they're using, but it is fantastic. It's, it's about as close you can get to being there without actually being there. The only thing that I would say about this that even though everything was really beautiful, I thought that it was going to be a situation where when you walked into the Illuminarium itself, it was going to be where you're going into different rooms and experiencing different parts of the safari. It's actually just one really big room. That being said, that does not take away from the experience. As you can see, 
there's plenty of room to move around so you don't really feel claustrophobic or anything something that's great for the entire family but if you love wildlife if you love you know any type of national geographic it is amazing one of the things i forgot to mention is that while you're there you also experience scents that somehow come through the vent that will make you feel like you're in the jungle you'll smell scents you know whatever that is good for good or bad you'll smell that <laughs> but it's it's really cool you'll really enjoy that as well after you're done with the experience you're probably going to be hungry and so they have a really cool cafe there and it's basically african inspired cuisine i had what's called the bra which is a south african barbecue it had tandoori chicken wings marinated beef short ribs and i had pita rolls or pita bread and that's rice that you see in that bowl it's a little spicy but it was so good and i was maybe because i was a little hungry but it was good and i would definitely try it again the next time i'm there so this pretty much wraps up my experience what did you guys think of this are you going to be going if you've already gone post your thoughts down in the comments below let me know what you think about this look have an awesome fourth of july weekend have a great rest of your day be safe and as always if you can see this video you're truly blessed and what are you gonna do in your downtime peace subscribe